Hello everybody, welcome back to channel. My name is Josh. I still use junk on eBay. Today is a Monday morning and we got 49 orders going out on eBay. One on TrueGether and that's it. I've been cross listing with Vindu the last, over the weekend I spent a little bit of time doing that. So with Vindu what I do is I take everything that's over $30 and above that makes sense for that platform and I'm putting it on Poshmark. Added Macari this weekend as well. Did not get any sales yet but hopefully that picks up soon. But honestly I only listed like 15, 20 things on Macari. Just kind of testing it out. Testing the waters, waters there. Do you guys have any good luck with Macari? How's that working for you guys? Also, I was using Flip to do my sharing on Poshmark and Flip is no longer free. So I'm kind of staying away from that right now. So those of you that were using Flip, what are you doing now? Are you paying the $10 a month for sharing on Poshmark? I don't, I don't think the sharing makes that big of a deal that it's worth paying $10 for, but I don't know. I'm trying to decide. But like I mentioned before, Vindu, what I do with it is it is more for a backup for me for my listings so that I have them in case anything goes wrong on eBay and my listings get lost. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We got sales today, 50 going out, 49 on eBay, one on TrueGather, none on eBay, or excuse me, none on Macari, none on Poshmark, but hoping to pick those up soon. Anyways, you know what? Let's just jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna start down here on the floor because we do have quite a few things. First up, we got a lot a set of these Time Life books, the Old West it's a series I find quite a bit around here. I think there's like 16 or 18 of them potentially for $25, good set. Next, Robert Jordan, The Will of Time, great set to be on the lookout for. A lot of these paperbacks are pretty torn up usually. The hardbacks, a lot of times the first editions do really good. They're worth looking at. A lot of bookstores will even underprice those first editions I find quite often, um, good set. Always save them when I find them to make a lot. This is one through five in a row. So yeah, really good. Here is a set of jazz records. They've got like 20 records for $18. Stuff not worth selling individually. Just making a little bit more money out of the lots when I buy big purchases. Here, man, we got a stack of clothing today. Clothing was good this weekend. The brain on the skirt didn't really matter, but it was the pattern, this plaid. A lot of good keywords you can use in it. So I was able to sell that like it was. A pair of Wrangler shorts. I picked these up at a thrift store for like two bucks. I thought they'd fit me, but they didn't quite fit right. So I ended up selling them. Got like 14 bucks for them, I think. A pair of Wrangler shorts. Uh, now I'm trying to remember. I believe this is a pair of women's maternity jeans. Listed a bunch of those a while back. Just kind of testing the waters with them. Here is a pair of Wranglers. They've got that leather patch on the back like I talked about. Pay one or two dollars, sell for like... 10 to 20 typically. A pair of Miss Me jeans. I think these were a kid size if I remember correctly. Actually, these are the Miss Me jeans. And this was another similar style brand. Both kids, but larger kids. Kind of like young teen girl type sizes. That's it for the clothing. So great. Clothing's boring, so I usually kind of fly through that. We do have some Music going out, we got Mel Bay's Deluxe Fiddling Method. I think about like $10, $12, somewhere around that for that cassette. Pretty cool. We got some CDs, Jesse J Alive. This is new sealed. There's a crack on it, so I wouldn't want to sell it on Amazon, but we're fine selling it on eBay like that, where you can just close that type of thing. Balance and Composure Tiger Jaws. We got The Secret, some sort of DVD here. And Charles Bands Skull Heads? I don't know. That's the DVDs we got going out. A few sewing machine parts, some miscellaneous parts there, a little bobbin case, some sort of leg off of a Husqvarna, and a little slide plate. That is it for sewing machine parts. Oh, oh wait, there's one more. We got a little knob back there we almost missed. Sewing machine parts, just good. This is a bag of jewelry, mostly like broken stuff, but craft a lot, some vintage, some modern, just a real mix of stuff there. Sound like the door opened, but it didn't. I don't think. No shell sure on Anyways, the Spire bought this and they asked me to put it in a padded flat rate envelope and refund the excess shipping after they bought it. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in a padded flat rate, but I'm gonna try and do that. This thing was like four pounds per round advantage. I don't know. We're gonna see if I can refund them some money. I don't know if we can or not. They did pay full price, so I'll see if I can work with them a little bit there. Don't know what's gonna happen. We do have some books. Teach them about Satan. Select notes on the international Bible lessons. Basic audio systems. This is the new international commentary. This is just the Acts. If you can find this whole set, it does really good. I found it a time or two, but 
just the book of Acts, selected letters of Pliny. I don't know. This is a University of Oklahoma press. A lot of your university press are lower printing and they're worth looking up. And then we also have a cookbook here. This one did better than I thought it would. It's like potluck for 33,000 or something. I don't know, pretty good. Selling lots of religious stuff and then lots of like kind of more technical stuff, audio systems, stuff like that. And then this last book, let me, there's another book down here. Let me move everything and then show you it because I wanted to talk about it. See what you guys thought about my pricing. Okay, so I couldn't find anything on this book. This is Christian Mothers by William H. Murray. This is William Murray, Alfalfa Bill. One of the first governors of Oklahoma, a big part of like setting up Oklahoma as a state. He did a lot of there. So this is by him. He actually has two counties named after him, Alfalfa County and Murray County. Maybe a third one too, I can't remember. But anyways, big guy in the basically beginnings of Oklahoma history. But I couldn't find anything on this book anywhere. I looked all over the internet for it. I could not find it. I listed it high at like 150. And that was probably about six months ago. Um, somebody offered me a while back $50. Not a while back, but last week, the end of last week. And then we went back and forth quite a few times. We finally settled on $70 plus shipping for this. I think that seems to be a fair prize. Really wasn't getting a lot of interest into it, but... Do you think it's a good historical book? So we did get $70 for it. I don't know. I had no bites at 150. Condition's not great on it, but very cool little book. So yeah, that's everything we got in this unit. I'm going to put it all into this Ikea bag and we'll go down to the other unit, see what's sold down there. All right, so it's Monday. I like on Mondays to kind of talk about what my plan is for the week. Helps me out more than anything just to talk through it with you guys or just do this camera while I'm talking to myself, making a plan for the week. So... This week, I really need to prep for next week. Next week, my wife and daughter are going to be gone. They're going to Honduras for a week to spend some time down there on a nice little mission trip. But um, I need to prep for that because it's going to be me and the two boys next week. And there's some parts of this business that are very hard to do with those two boys. And there's some parts of this business that's very easy to do with those two boys. Because they're two and four now. Well, number the middle child's turning four on the 17th whenever that is but anyways so I need to prep for that so what I'm going to do is I need to go pick up a trailer load of books because um photographing listing books doing that type of thing is a lot easier with them than just kind of like miscellaneous stuff that I'm filling up totes with honestly because a lot of times there's cool stuff in there that they like and that they want to be a part of but the books they don't really care about as much as long as it's not children's books is usually not what I'm listing. So I'm gonna go pick up a trailer load of books probably Thursday and then kind of start processing that Thursday, Friday. That way I have stuff to work on going into next week. So that's something I've got to do towards the end of this week. Um, beginning part of this week, I'm probably gonna hit sewing machines pretty hard. Um, I've been buying some of those online. I've had some coming in that I've ordered, mostly auctioned on eBay. That has been really good. Although, people shipping on eBay is just oh, so annoying sometimes. So the last two that I got, I got two this morning. Two came in. One was kind of a smaller machine. The other one was a bigger serger. They both used priority mail shipping supplies, but shipped at ground advantage, which is against USPS rules. It says on there it's like a federal offense to do that on the box. One person used a box, covered it in the brown paper. And then the second person, they put padded flat rate envelopes as packaging around the stuff and then shipped it out grand advantage so <sighs> it is what it is I don't know just kind of annoying to me because I don't do that <laughs> and it's like come on guys just spend a couple of dollars on a box or spend a dollar or two on some bubble wrap don't game the system like that it's just it doesn't look good for anybody it doesn't look good whenever buyers get something and they see that you're kind of like cutting corners they wonder where else you're cutting corners it I don't know but yeah I need to work on sewing machines. Sorry to get off on that tangent. Um, that's something we're going to work on. It's one thing I got a lot of space for in the storage unit is sewing machines. So probably hitting that pretty hard. Try to get through all my backlog of those. So I do still have a few in back stock. And then also processing any new ones that are coming in as I've started. Winning some auctions and getting some mailed to me. So 
that's the plan for the week. Hit sewing machines really hard. Get some books, start processing through those. And then if I've got any extra time Tuesday to Wednesday, I don't know. I might do one more tote of just random stuff while I have that opportunity. But anyways, let's see what else sold. All right, so we're going to start down on the floor once again. We do have another lot of these scrubs. Absolutely, they've done great. If I can ever find scrubs again for like 25 cents a piece, I'm going to be just buying lots and lots of them because I've been very happy. Two lots of Blu-rays going out. They're going out to different buyers, and both buyers are repeat buyers. So I found that interesting. Don't know what that means, but we got those. One buyer came in and bought two clubs, both Cobras, not good brands. A six and an eight. Let me double check and make sure that's right. We'll double check those. But anyways, I am going to refund one of the shipping charges for them. They asked if I could. So yeah, I do a flat $10 shipping on my golf clubs, baseball bats, this long stuff that's going to go end up going UPS ground. Flat $10 shipping on it. So I charged them $20. We'll refund half of that. Um, Let's see. We got some stuff up here. We got... Did we pull everything? We have not finished pulling everything. Hang on. I got a few more things to pull. Let me go do that real fast. Okay, pulled everything else. So here we got a set, it's like American Romance something. I can't remember what this set's called, but 120 plus shipping, really good set. Maybe look up on the screen, see what it's called. Pretty cool. Also, I used this Saran Wrap to hold together my lots. Huge game changer. If you're not doing that, check out, I'll put a link in the description of what I use. Huge, huge game saver. Game saver, time saver, like keep your lots together. Oh man, it's been so nice. Here we go. What do we got here? We got this little tire iron. You'd be surprised the value some of these have. I think this one I got like right under $10 if I remember correctly. I put it up on the screen, but some of these do really, really good. Really good. Always happy with them. Don't think I showed these. Claw Hammer Banjo Volume 2. We got Red Bike Story Soundtrack and DJ Otzi Hey Baby. From the movie Kangaroo Jack, International Sports Anthem of the Year. No idea. Um, we do have some jeans going out. This is like, I call them short alls. Kind of like your short coveralls that ladies might wear. This was not a good brand, but just this style always, always is worth selling for me. No matter the brand. A pair of American Eagle like cut off shorts. This has kind of like this beaded waistband on them. Took a while to sell, but we still got to sell. A pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. And that is a new with tags, Old Navy dress that sold for like eight bucks or something. Old Navy is hard to sell, even new with tags, but it did sell. Let's see, we got this cool little Mickey Mouse hand thing. Number, what was it? Oh, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got this book, Nexus, Bloods, Guts, and Glory by Josh Voigt. I don't know, V-O-G-T, however you want to pronounce that. One little Harley part. We got a Game Shark for the N64. This is version 3.2. We've got a little Volkswagen part of some sort back here. One piece of fabric. A little Kodak camera. These little digital cameras have really increased in value the last... Two to three years. Always on the lookout for them. Seems like four or five years ago, these things were like basically worthless. But now, most of them are like 20, 30 bucks. And last but not least, we got one Guinness hat. This is going out. Somebody wants this for a St. Patrick's party that they're having on Thursday. Today's Monday, so hopefully that gets there in time. So I'm going to get out of here, ship all this out. Club buyers can get their hat. But that is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.